welcome back to the channel Doo -doo -doo. and as promised y'all i'm trying to get better with uh with doing these um recordings as promised i am going to talk to you today about my upcoming tummy tuck surgery now i see that when people do these uh videos discussing plastic surgery that they give a disclaimer so this will be the only video i put this disclaimer in there if you do not like plastic surgery or don't agree with plastic surgery thank you for the view but you can go ahead and exit stage left um yeah just that 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 will be that will be all that'll be all <laughs> so um, yeah, I just wanted to talk to you all about my upcoming surgery. Um, my scheduled date is going to be for November the 22nd, which is literally a day after my birthday. So it is a happy birthday gift to me. Um, we'll start with why I am having surgery. Um, I've had three kids, um, all born via C-section, and I have a pouch that I have been unable to get rid of. Um, I've gained weight, lost weight, back on a weight loss journey again. And I know personally, like, this, this isn't going to go away like i've lost um close to 40 pounds this year and all that is happening is um excuse girls all that is happening is the pouch is just drooping further and further around so i had a consultation with the provider he said that he think that i would be a great candidate for the surgery and he even confirmed what i said and everybody knows that even with diet and exercise you cannot exercise away loose skin okay um, it has been something that I have been insecure about for years. Um, my kids are ages 10, 8, and 1. Um, I've been wanting the surgery after since I've had my daughter. Glad I weigh it because I have my son, but my um, this last year was my last pregnancy, okay? So, yeah, um, I am briefly going to tell you who my doctor is and the price that I was quoted and how I'm paying for surgery and give you a little bit of the journey. So originally I was supposed to go to Miami to have my surgery with Dr. Memeniscus at Avana Plastic Surgery. But what had happened was, and I believe that everything happens for a reason, um, went to do my pre-op clearance and my EKG was abnormal. I've had an abnormal EKG for years. Um, I guess when I was at the duty, it somehow didn't get put into my medical record. So, they the VA had no idea about it so I've been going through cardiology clearance even though I've known about this abnormal EKG um, I've done a chest x-ray an echocardiogram which basically came back normal I have to do a pulmonary test on July the 30th and then I will be done with cardiology probably have to do a follow-up every few years but so other than that I will be done with cardiology um at first, I was upset about it, but I believe that th there was there was some. It was a reason why I was unable to have this surgery, and I, I was pressed about it at first. But now, I actually, kind of excited. Um, when I went to my when I was going to Miami, my original surgery date was supposed to be July the thirteenth. Um, did not like I said, it did not happen. But I was quoted for forty eight hundred dollars. And that was for a tummy tuck, lipo, and muscle repair, um, included anesthesia fees and all. However, cover that did not include the flight. Um, having to stay, I would, at the time I was staying in the Airbnb, and my sister was going to stay with me. But when I had to um, reschedule, um, I would have had to stay in recovery home food, even though recovery home food feeds you. I'm kind of picky about who cooking my food. So, food, um, garments, different supplies. All of that added up. I did the math, and I will only and I only would have been saving roughly a thousand dollars by going to Miami. And I only live four hours away from Miami, so yeah, it was it was gonna add up uh, really quickly. Um, so I found a surgeon back home. I was getting um, lymphatic massages just to kind of go ahead and see how it was. Start prepping my body, and my. Um, Massage therapist actually mentioned a provider in Jacksonville who did her BBL and she looks amazing So I was like I kind of mentally took that note down thinking okay Maybe if I decide to do something later on I might consider it not knowing that okay He was gonna be the one who I chose to do my tummy tuck with so with that being said I am seeing dr. Eric wise at North Florida plastic surgery center Here uh, his office is in Orange Park, Florida um 
I'm excited. I did a, if I would have waited to do an in-person consultation, he did not have any appointments available until September. So I decided to do a, a, a online virtual consultation, um, sitting in some pits and like within like a few days, he called me back. Um, based on my picks and based on the video, he said that I would be a great candidate for a tummy tuck. I already knew that. And but what kind of surprised me is, is he actually said that he didn't think that I need lipo. Um, honestly, I do have a. I mean, you can't really. Yeah, even if I do this, like I have a natural curve to my body. Like I'm just curvy. Um, so I guess based on that, he didn't think that I would need lipo. He did say like at my pre-op appointment that if I did need it or if, you know, while on the surgery table, he did, um, he decides I need it, he'll just do some lipo to some areas, but he doesn't, he does not at the time think that I need lipo. So from there, I received my quote. Um, to do that online consultation, it did cost $50. If you do it in person, it's free. Um, so I received my quote from him and I'll go ahead and let you know um, all the costs. So I got quoted for an abdominoplasty standard reduction and removal of excess skin and fat from my belly and tightening of my muscles, muscle repair. Um, that is costing me $5,200. Um, I have to pay operate rooms fees for $1,650, anesthesia fees for $1,440, equipment uh, $350, garment $160. I will get a pain pump and I, that is $400. Um, other fees included are $4,000. So my total amount for surgery is $9,200. That is what I was quoted as. Um, when I seen that price, I was kind of sticker shocked, but that's why I kind of stood back on, okay, let's add up everything. Like if you would have went to Miami, how much things would have cost? And like I said, I'm only saving roughly $1,000 by going to Miami. Um, this is something that I've wanted for a long time. So I am going to take the time for me. So how am I paying this money for a surgery? Um, what I did was I requested a refund back from Ivana, so that money will be going towards surgery. Um, based on that, every month up into surgery, I need to save $920 to go towards surgery. Now, if you would like to finance your surgery, they do offer financing options. I am trying to avoid financing because I don't want to add, I'm already trying to budget and save money so i would rather just pay out of pocket than having to add an extra monthly expense that's just me personally if you choose to finance that is up to you do whatever is best for you at the time um so that ninety two hundred dollars is minus the five hundred dollar uh deposit so fifty dollars went the fifty dollars that i paid for my consultation actually went towards my deposit and so my deposit was four fifty totaling five hundred dollars so the ninety two hundred dollars um minus um ninety two hundred dollars i'm sorry i didn't bring it minus the five hundred dollar deposit um is what i owe so i have money that i already spent on surgery and i'm requesting a refund that i will be sending to that um so i need to say $920 a month. How do I plan on doing that? You may ask. So on the side, just to make some extra cash, I DoorDash. Um, it's addicting. Um, it's just a little bit of spending money here and there um, if I don't want to dig into my regular budgeting money. So I will be using DoorDash to help pay for my surgery. Smart, right? <laughs> so if um, my weekly because DoorDash pays you weekly. So weekly leading up to surgery, I need to make $250 or more. And, and if it's the or more, all of that will be going towards surgery. So at minimum $250 a week, which would be $1,000 a month, which I only have to do $920 a month, but $1,000 a month will be going towards my surgery. So that is how I'm paying for it. I already have the money from my, um, my surgery that I paid for in Miami. And yeah, door dashing. That's how that's how I'm gonna be paying for hustling on the side, okay? Um, how do I feel? I am excited, I am nervous. There are still some things that I am will be working on while um, I'm in this transition process. One of those things is I still have more weight to lose, even though I meet the qualifications for his weight. I myself personally would like to be at least 170 for surgery. Now, I mentioned in a previous video, my goal is 160, but
but if I can get to 170, I will be happy. Like that will be, I will be happy with that. So I am working on losing an additional 20 pounds, which will put me right at 170. Um, getting my continuing to exercise and making sure my cardiovascular system is good. And also I am going to do therapy. I know I've seen in a lot of surgery groups that I am a part of that um, they talk about the emotional roller coaster of surgery. So I figure if I start to address those mental health issues now, that maybe my uh, recovery will be a little bit easy. Um, yeah, that is basically it. My date again is going to be on November the 22nd. Maybe I'll see if uh, I'm going to actually write his coordinator and I'll just let him know, hey, you know, I'm a small YouTuber. When I say small, I mean small. I'm a small YouTuber. Um, I would like to track this journey. Maybe he'll be down to do an interview. Maybe I don't, I don't really know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, so honestly, you guys, that is all. I'm dropping stuff. Sorry. That is all I have for this video. Um, stay tuned. I will do an update on next week. Yeah. So they're gonna they're actually sending me like a welcome packet. Um, I'll do a reveal of that, and then what I'll do is maybe every two weeks I'll come in and do a check in, or maybe a weight loss check in. Oh yeah, I think that's it. I don't even know why I said oh. Yeah, that is it. That is all. Until next time, say peace and always receive love. Um, that's it. Oh yeah, listen, listen. Please hit that subscribe button, y'all. Just if you happen to come across this video, just press it. That's simple. Just press it. Alrighty. You all have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Bye.